Hey what's up guys and welcome to something a little bit different today. As you can tell by the title and the video itself, this is a career mode video. Now, I want to start uploading career mode but I'm fully aware that this channel, this one right here, is based around Ultimate Team content. So, what I'm going to do is upload career mode videos to my second channel. I'm going to put links to my second channel in the description, make sure you go check it out. I'm uploading episode 1 to this channel and the second channel, so you guys know that I'm now going to be uploading career mode, and also so you know if you're watching on this channel to go over to my second channel if you do want to continue watching career mode content from myself. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all I've got to say. All support is appreciated as usual. I'll have more Ultimate Team videos coming your way very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to what is going to be my first career mode series on YouTube. Now, I've never recorded a career mode before, so this could be interesting. In previous FIFAs, I've played career mode a little bit, but um, I haven't really played it too much. This year, I want to play it a bit more, so here we are. Welcome to episode 1 of my Arsenal career mode. First things first, why Arsenal? Well, as most of you know, that's the football team I support, so it was a pretty easy choice. Once this series is complete, I'll let you guys choose the next team for me to do a career mode on. Anyway, as you guys can guess by the title, this is just an introduction episode. No games will be played in this video, but we are going to be discussing the squad, the aims for the season, what system we're going to use, and of course, some possible transfers. Okay then, getting into things. Starting off this year on career mode, you actually get to customise your manager. Well, you can a little bit anyway, which is definitely a nice touch. I don't think any of these manager heads, to be honest, actually resemble my appearance. So um, yeah, we're just going to pick the one that's in the middle. We can also choose to be a suited manager, a shirt and tie guy, or a tracksuit coach, and I think if I was a manager, I would definitely go with the shirt and tie combo. I really think there should be an option for a giant coat like Arsene Wenger loves to wear, also maybe a hat option because Tony Pulis loves to wear a cap. Moving on into the settings, we are going to start this series on world class. Well, we're going to try to anyway. I suck at offline FIFA, I rarely play it, so this might not be the best choice. If I do start getting battered early on, we may have to drop it to professional just until I learn how the CPU plays. But hopefully that doesn't happen, I hopefully I get to grips with it early, and hopefully for the third time we do avoid a few beatings. But let's be honest, Arsenal losing a few games early into the season, that's pretty realistic. Let's get down to business, of course we're going to accept the pre-season invites and we're obviously going to go for the one with the most prize money because let's be honest that just makes the most sense, we want more money to get better players. Talking of players, let's have a look at the squad. First of all, I'm going to set it up how I plan on playing it. I actually do like the 4-2-3-1 setup, so um, I think I'm going to continue to use that. But I am going to use a few custom tactics or instructions just to, you know, help keep players in position. I'm also going to set up a 4-3-3 squad for games where I just want to attack more. So when we're playing like lower league opposition where I think we can get more goals, the 4-3-3 squad is the one I'm going to use. There's actually going to be three squads. The third one's going to be my cup squad, which I also may use for friendlies. That will be made up of youth players and players who just can't get into the first team at the current time. So the teams are sorted for now. Let's talk about improving the squad. I don't want to sound like Arsene Wenger here, but in all honesty, I don't actually think we need to sign that many players. But there are two positions, in my opinion, which I think we definitely could do with strengthening. Number one, I think we could definitely do with a top class striker and also I think we could do with a top, 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 top class winger. Let's analyse the squad and talk about our depth. In goal, we've got Czech and Ospina. Czech is brilliant and Ospina is definitely a very good backup goalkeeper. Right back options, we've got Bellerin and Debushi. And even if both of them can't play, we've got Jenkinson as a third option. Centre back wise, I think we are stacked if I'm fully honest. Because Shelny and Mustafi are going to be our starters. Gabriel and Mertesacker are going to be second choice. And then we've even got Rob Holden as an extra option. At left back, we have the ever reliable Nacho Monreal and his backup Kieran Gibbs. Midfield options, we are full of to be honest. We've got so many midfielders, we have too many centre mids if I'm honest. 
I plan to start with Xhaka and Santi, with Ramsey coming on regularly as a sub. Elneny's great backup and we haven't even spoke about the cock yet. Coquelin will be a bench player. I might use him a bit more when we need a good defensive display. If for whatever reason we need more midfielders, we can actually just recall Jack Wilshire. And now we come on to the wing options and this is where, to be honest, I see a weakness. Alexis will obviously be a starter, but he's the only one who I think always will. It will be in FIFA, it just isn't that great, but I do plan on giving him enough game time. And let's be honest, Fear and Ox are just not that great. Well, they're not as good as I would like, so I do think that we should bring in a world class winger if we can. Finally, striker options, we've got Mr. Giroud, we've got Welbeck, and we've also got new boy Lucas Perez. They are the main options, but let's be honest, none of them are world class, so if we can afford to, I definitely think we should bring in a top, a world class, a brilliant goal scorer. So that's pretty much my squad analysis. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me, and let me know which areas you think that I should strengthen. In the next episode, we're going to evaluate our options. We're going to see what the scouts come back with for the areas I have identified as a weakness. I'm going to make a short list of players for the next episode. In the comments below, you know what to do. Make suggestions on which players you think that I should sign. So let's have a quick look at the financial situation. As you can see, we've got plenty of money to play around with. So I am hoping that we can bring in a big name player. One thing I probably should have spoke about at the start is the expectations, but to be honest, they are pretty obvious and that most of them are achievable, I think. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for episode 1. It's been a bit of a boring one, I'll admit, but it is just an introduction. Episode 2, we will play our first game and we will look to make our first signing. I hope you guys will join me on my career mode journey. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Remember to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.